Hey, it's Wednesday. How's it going? I just finished up a meeting with clients. That was cool. Um, going to work on a bunch of stuff today, most importantly. Got some more coffee. Got some more LaCroix coming. I'm going to put them in that over there. That's my uh, Han Solo mini fridge. I'm stoked about it. Okay, um, today is going really good. I was looking at um, a client's dashboard. Things are going really awesome. Our cost per leads are in the dollar eighty mark and in the past several months they've been at the six to eight dollar mark. I'll tell you a few things that we're doing that are helping us reduce the cost per lead. Um, we're using Facebook, we're using Google, and we're using LinkedIn. So that's exciting. Um, the other thing that we're doing that's pretty cool is we have a down sell offer that we're, we're using this webinar as a target for um, high ticket sale price item. So we're going to do a down sell that I think is working really good. We're doing a um, confirmation page upsell, and we're actually ROI positive just on this landing page. Very, very exciting stuff. And actually, th this is one of my favorite clients. And with this client in particular, it's really interesting because with this client in particular, um, pretty cool. This was actually the first kind of agency client that I had when I had like my gone with the wind moment. I don't know if you know that movie. I'll tell you about that here. Here's what I, the, the clip I'm talking about. God is my witness. As God is my witness, they're not going to lick me. I'm going to live through this and when it's all over, I'll never be hungry again. All right, so today is going really good. How is your guys' day going? I got Lily and Madeline hanging out in my office. I'm gonna be making some videos, launching some campaigns. Uh, it's been launching ads today, and it went really well so far. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit about that thing that I was talking about where I had my first kind of like moment where I felt like digital marketing was the thing for me. So I'll tell you about that and kind of how that went. But first, let's talk to Lily really quick. Hi. Hello. You did so good at your school today. I'm really proud it of you. It took me two, one hour. Lily does homeschool. She's in first grade. Awesome work, kid. Technically second grade. Wow. I'm in multiplying. You're doing multiplication. That's awesome. My yeah. mommy's not sure. Yeah. The people who gave it to me said it was just a misprint, but not people in mommy's group and Jeanette said that it was um, second grade. Definitely. You're doing super awesome. Mimi. I I How was your day today, sweetie? Good. Nice. So that's cool. Bennett's taking a nap here in just a second. Mm -hmm. Also, look at this. We got the old Han Solo fridge stocked full of LaCroix. Super duper exciting. Okay, we're gonna watch. We're gonna watch. Super cool. I just love I just love the LaCroix. Now we're gonna go so on good. Pet, okay? Thanks. Thanks, hon. Cheers. Alright, so and the kind of the stage that was set was that I had been doing real estate for a long time and um, real estate was great. It was just really time consuming and things. And we have two daughters. One is Lily right there. She's hanging out back there. One is Madeline. You just met her. She's right there. Um, but we were pregnant. Michelle, when I say we, Michelle was pregnant with our third baby. And Michelle's pregnancies are super hard. She gets really sick typically and things, but this pregnancy was super, super hard. And so, um, anyways, on November 5th of 2017, it's so almost a year and a half ago, Michelle, her water broke and Bennett was only, we knew it was a boy and he was only 23 weeks. No, I'm sorry, he was 24 weeks. Some Somewhere in there, I can't remember, my wife remembers for sure. Um, but he was, basically very very close to even being the point of viable we were lucky that they let michelle be on bed rest and so she went on to bed rest for a month an entire month and that was extremely hard because we had lily and madeline who were very young young kids michelle was at the hospital our families jumped in and stepped in which was so awesome so one second my battery's gonna die so that being said, um, with two little kids plus my work in real estate, and real estate was primarily how I made most of my money, I did have digital marketing on the side. I always loved digital marketing. I've created my marketing podcast and I had other things going on, but real estate was the primary income, um, some smaller income on 
the marketing side. Um, but basically when that happened, I transitioned pretty much full time at that point to just doing digital marketing and not doing any more real estate. And it was so lucky that I had that skill set. So one of the clients that I brought on, literally the day that Michelle was in the hospital, the very first day, actual day, because we went in at nighttime, but the very next day, I started on campaigns for a client that I had taken on. Um, one of my all-time favorite clients. And he was like, you know, we've been generating leads for between 10 and $14, and things have been going well and stuff. And so that first month for him, working with him, I really refined his ads, I refined his his process, and we generated $120,000 in sales on something like $4,800 in ad spend. Um, we dropped the cost per lead dramatically. It was down like 25%. And uh, it was amazing. So, um, like, I, I just remember opening my computer in the hospital because I, I would stay the night with Michelle. My, my parents or Michelle's parents would stay the night here at the house. I remember I remember opening my computer and seeing that level of sales in there and just being able to generate six figures in one month for a client with a tiny little ad spend and see that return on ad spend. It was ridiculously amazing. And I remember just the level, it, it was amazing. And it felt like, it was like, man, if I can figure this out and, and achieve this, like I'm gonna be okay, everything's gonna be okay. And uh, it was a super stressful time because Michelle was in the hospital, racking up $230,000 worth of hospital bills, plus Bennett was born super early and just was so much strife and worry and fear. And I was able to do like that, that great result. It was just like a complete blessing. And I felt super fortunate, super lucky that I was able to take my knowledge in digital marketing and make this happen. So like... I just thought I was thinking about that today because I was working on that campaign for that client and um, still still have that client. It's my favorite client. And uh, we're just killing it with his ads right now. And it's just so exciting. I, I'm so excited for him because he does so well. And I was telling my wife, like, geez, I wish I was making as much money uh, as my client does. And it's funny because, like, I'm doing all of his inbound marketing. And so it's a huge part of why... Like he's successful. Um, so it's like I just need to do it for myself. Uh, that's another another video for another day. But um, anyways, the one of the things that I think really helped to make that and transform kind of the way that we run ads is that we talk a lot about the emotion of the product and how it emotionally affects the client, not just the actual things that are going to be covered in. So we sell education to um, veterinary professionals and. Uh, like you can go about and say, here's what you're going to learn. You're going to learn X, Y, and Z. But really what they're looking for is they're looking to reduce their anxiety and increase their confidence and, you know, things that are more emotional. Like, so, um, anyways, I don't want to go too far into the, the ad set without getting permission from, from the client, but it's, it's emotion that makes the ads work so much better. And it is emotion that is what really helps to take people to take action. They don't want the the feature, they want how it's going to make them feel, how they're going to feel when they've completed something, the feeling of accomplishment. And so don't ever forget that and don't ever forget to poke the bear and remind them of the pain points that they're feeling. I think that's super, super important. I really love LaCroix. Do you love LaCroix too? I'm, I think it's the best stuff ever. What's your favorite flavor if you love it? If you think it's potpourri water, like the people say, I've heard them say, let me know too. I would love to know. Anyways, today is going pretty good. This week is going pretty good. I think, um, and I've been thinking a lot about, just in general, the vlog aspect of the channel. I've been thinking a lot about kind of what is going to be documented and what I'm going to be sharing here. And so one thing that I'm going to be doing and working on is uh, I'm going to share and be super transparent with my software product, as far as what I'm using to grow it, how it's working out, what it looks like, and um, how I'm marketing it. Cause I think that it's going to be super helpful. So I'll go through building out my client avatar for it, showing examples of that, showing the ad examples of that, showing the funnel examples of that and uh, stuff like that. So if you're interested in that, be sure to subscribe because I'll be using that 
as an ongoing case study. But you know, I have I have clients with that right now, so I've actually sold it, but I've been selling it primarily person to person, which I think is super helpful because you're able to understand what their um, objections are and what you know the main talking points are going to be and just everything involved in selling it. So important to know that and actually have that human interaction. I think that's what I'm gonna make my video about today. All right, so that's gonna do it. Gonna get to work here and uh, keep drinking LaCroix. You know, the only thing that I like more than LaCroix is coffee. The only thing that I like more than coffee, well, actually, I think coffee is my favorite drink of all time. What's your favorite drink of all time? But uh, I'd like to know. Have a good one, everybody, and cheers.